Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi there, how are you, bud? Huh? Would you like a little water? I am uh, bagging up some things that are going to a zoo. And I'm giving them their pre-flight, which consists of water if I can get the little suckers to drink. Usually gaboons are pretty good. And these guys have not had a, a good drink in a while. You're interested in drinking, huh? When they're in the bins, they, uh, they really drank quite well and regularly. And just when they graduate to a bin, um, a tub rather. Uh, they don't quite get as much attention because uh, they're considered uh, to be over the hump there and, and don't need uh, exact and constant care. Now, you know, they're <clears throat> if they're born in the wild, they get no care at all. So, um, at this point, they're feeding regularly, and uh, uh, these guys are yearlings. So, a certain number of uh, the, any brood uh, will not make it uh, past the first year. You know, with gaboons and other bittis, you know, having 20, 30, 40 uh, babies at a time, um, the planet would be overrun with them, uh, which isn't a bad thing, I'm not saying that, but the ecosystems would be really taxed because it can only sustain a certain number of predators uh, in a certain sized area, and uh, Mother Nature knows how to regulate that. Unfortunately, mankind intervenes and deregulates that and throws everything out of whack. Are you going to drink? Huh? No. You're not going to drink. Oh, but you got to drink. You're going on a plane ride tomorrow. Huh? Yeah. I disturbed you. Huh? You get a drink? Oh. Here, have some water. The old water injection right through the front port. <clears throat> yes, no, maybe, huh? I don't know how much you can say of them. Well, you know, sorry about that, but. That's the brakes. I need the camera up there tonight because we've got lots of things going on here at the table. And when I lift the sucker up here in a moment to bag it, <clears throat> you'll be able to see uh, uh, exactly uh, what what he looks like. Are you going to behave yourself? Do you sausage? Huh? See, that's what... Uh, a yearling gaboon looks like. Very pretty, pretty one. I have to make sure I get this right. Uh, and don't send them, uh, you know, two males or two females. <clears throat> That's embarrassing. Here's, here's a female tail. You can get the idea that uh, just covers the area that's serrated there. The anal scoot is right there at the swelling. And this is a male's tail. And here you can see it's it's quite long and here's the anal scoot right here at the point of the forceps. And here's the other pair in comparison. 
anal scoot, anal scoot, tail length, tail length. Females have shorter tails. Uh, males need a place to uh, store their junk when it's not in use. They have a very deep pocket there for their hemipenis. As well as using the rest of the tail to curl around and make sure uh, that Mr. Hemipenis uh, finds the right place to go and keeps it there. So there you have it. So we'll have a look here at the other one that's sort of marked for them. <clears throat> and have a quick look and see who's who. Huh? Can I look up, lift up your skirt? Thank you. Well, that's a very short tail. That's a very short tail. And that's a much longer tail. Huh? Yeah, I know, bud. Yeah, I would probably say that uh, you indeed are male. Um, that's a pretty good sized tail. I don't know if you can see that, but again, that's the brakes. Hi, are you getting testy now, huh? I know, you don't like me looking up your skirt. Well, let me uh, wet down the female here. Let's see if I can entice her to drink. Usually spraying them down in general will uh, get them drinking nicely. <clears throat> now uh, we have to... Are you drinking now? you uh, consider going in the back. Yeah, I know. I know. Go on. Go ahead. Why don't you go in the back? There you go. Got a nice clean bag to poop in. Because you know that's exactly what he's going to do overnight. And just so... Uh, doesn't uh, decide to come out and vis visit us, we'll use the very large clamp to sort of secure that. Anyway. <clears throat> now I'll take, uh, sorry if you couldn't see, I'll take this nylon tie and slip it down and voila we have one bagged gabunit so Now we'll use one of these theoretically slightly larger bags. For the second protective layer that uh, uh, we're required uh, for shipping purposes, everybody gets double bagged or doubled something. Uh, many times I'll uh, if they're in, you know, small tubs and I don't have a lot to send, I'll uh, go ahead and leave them in a bin and secure the bin. Yeah, I know this is this is an experience for you, and uh, that way I don't have to bag them or do anything. And uh, when they open the bag at the zoo they can, or wherever they end up, they can recognize what it is right away. However, um, <clears throat> you know, I do uh, a sticker. 
So everybody knows uh, what's in there. Are you drinking? Huh? Okay. That's one gaboon down. Now yeah, we'll just set you right there for a second. And we'll try to safely pick the female up and put her up here. And we'll put the, you in your resting place for the night. And I'll show you that when everybody's in it. Hi, how are you? Really? Huh? Did I get water in your nose? I am so sorry about that. But at least you're taking a drink. Yeah, that tasty. The male was stubborn as usual and uh, would not drink. You guys are just starting to sprout your nasal horns in a year. You know, if you, uh, I know, um, I'm touching you, I know that's wrong, but here. This way you can uh, get the water right where it's supposed to get. And we don't waste any. Not that, not that that's just going in your cage. There you go, that's much better. Are you done? Are you done? Hmm? Now, despite the fact that uh, I could get in trouble for it, I will say that uh, this one will probably give me a lot harder time than the male. This is absolutely normal. Um, I don't care what the species, uh, females don't like to be messed with. Right, I know. Yeah, oh, you're already hissing, huh? Come on. Let's not get all upset and lose your water. Here, go in the bag. Go on. I know, I'm making you move too. There you go, that's a good girl. Go on. Come on, there you go. That's nice, huh? There you go. <clears throat> as you heard, she was not as cooperative as as the male, but uh, not as bad as as some snakes I've worked with. All right, she's all secure in her bag, and um, no body parts caught in the in the tie wrap. And these are uh, these are freshly laundered snake bags done in Clorox to make sure there wasn't anything. Uh, nasty in them. <clears throat> because, you know, basically we get uh, uh, snakes in uh, from the wild. We don't want to, you know, put another snake in the bag and without basically uh, killing whatever might have traveled in the bag with the snake. Yep, I know, I know. I know. They don't like going uh, cargo class. They like to go first class all the time. And they always uh, get testy. Yep, gotta put the labels on this.
Okay, so female. In we go, making sure not to touch the bag uh, because I can't tell you how many people have told me that they've been bitten through bags. Um, I met a fellow at the Ham Show in Germany. He had just started recovering from a black mamba bite that bit him through the bag. Uh, black mambas are notoriously uh, bad bag biters, so to speak. Uh, um, they, uh, even uh, some people in South Africa who make their living by going out on snake holes have been bitten through bags. Okay, 1.1 1. Uh, 1. Bitus Gabunica, Gabonica, oh I'm sorry, wrong, wrong, eh, eh. you screwed up Al, Bitus Rhinoceros, Rhinoceros series, Reno series, there we go, okay, we have some, some space to get comfy. Do I have my clippers here? I do. I'm just going to shorten these so they're not sticking out, causing problems.